I have about 10 minutes to shoot this. Far out. Nobody knows, trying to hide but it shows Lost my sense of logical Think that I'm gonna explode Echoes inside of my bones here in California, we have a lot of flashy cars, so many people, perfect weather, everything like that, but I have no friends. I have no friends here. It sucks. <laughs> because of that reason, today I wanna go out and I wanna shoot some landscape stuff. If I don't have friends to take photos of, then, well, I have Josh, but uh, yeah, thanks for holding up the sink, by the way, but <laughs> I have Josh, but I don't wanna take photos of him because he stinks. <laughs> if I had a free hand, you'd be seeing something very rude right now. My friend Mike, his Instagram name is North Borders. He uploaded this photo the other day. He has a UV filter that's in focus and then everything else is out of focus. But what's inside the UV filter is in focus. And I want to recreate that today. But first things first, I want to go meditate and then we'll have a look at the locations. Hey dude. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? I need to show you something. <laughs> My subscribers are gonna see it without my cap, Josh. What are you? <laughs> Guys, you didn't see anything. <laughs> I'm gonna get you back someday. It's for making me hold up your bloody. What was it called again? It's a silk. A silk. It's not even. I thought you were silk. a photographer. It's not made of silk. Why is it called silk? It's because it's a. Thing. <laughs> I actually thought that you had something genuine to ask me. I opened the door and I was like, okay, here we go. And then you're just like. Rawr! Now I'm trying to find a location and the specific location that I want to go to is an overpass. I don't know California, so there's infinite overpasses to go to. I feel like I'm just going to be super indecisive and I'm going to go check out the locations for myself. We'll just have to spontaneously do whatever. Josh, you ready? Let's go. Music in all of my notes, color in all of my songs makes me wanna scream out loud. You're already under my clothes, echoes inside of my bones. See, this one right here would be actually perfect because we've got the lights of the Ferris wheel in the background and the cinema. We've got so many lights there that just look really cool in different colors and stuff, but they've fenced it off. Who knew looking for an overpass would be this difficult? Oh my God, I just realized I have to post my YouTube video. And I have it set to private. I'm not able to publish it from my phone because it doesn't work from the phone app. Oh my God. It has to be up by 10.30 and it's currently 10 o'clock. We're gonna hit the overpass. You're gonna get the shot. You're not gonna make it. I'm such an idiot. Okay, take the photo at the overpass pass once we've found the overpass race back and then i have to post the video i don't think i'm gonna make it in time let's do this jump over the bush oh it's huge i think i can yeah do it i'll hold this three two one go <laughs> oh you actually got it my turn if you can't do it don't force yourself i just made it and you couldn't wait what face your fears ladies and gentlemen uh, I'm full committed to that. <laughs> oh my god. We made it. Literally perfect. We've got the red lights on that side, the yellow lights on this side. I'm going to take a photo just down the middle. This has to be really quick because of my YouTube video. I have about 10 minutes to shoot this. Far out.
fell asleep, got the shoot done. We'll check the photos tomorrow, but right now I need to get home and I actually have to upload my YouTube video, so. And it's currently 10.42. It's already too late. Oh, what? It was already scheduled as it was, so I posted at 10.30. I stress for nothing. <sighs> There's one way that I describe that photo shoot is that it was fast paced. Like man, because I thought my YouTube video was gonna be posted after 10.30, after the scheduled time, that made me freak out and I was like, okay, we need to take this photo, we'll get these photos done, then we'll race back and we'll get it. And it ended up being fine. So I just, I just needed to stress less. I just, I've got this problem where I just overthink things all the time. Whenever I'm thinking about something else, it's really hard for me to get into the zone kind of thing. That's just something I need to work on. But anyway, first photo I took was a long exposure. So to do that, all I did was I put the camera on the ledge, set it for like six seconds or something with an aperture of like F18. Did a few different alterations of those photos and I picked one of them. And then pretty much I took the photo of the ND filter up close, which I used my 28 mil for and I opened the aperture up to to F2, so that was very much bokery in the background. Then I took the long exposure photo into Photoshop, and then I took the other photo into Photoshop and I put it on top of the long exposure photo. And then essentially I just cut out the inside of the ND filter, and because I cut that out, what was left behind is the long exposure photo. From there I just color graded it, then added a couple lighting effects to it, and then boom. That's it. And as for the other ones, because it was so rushed and everything, and because it was so dark, I had to shoot at like 6,400 ISO on the A7S. The A7S is great at low light for video, but it's not great at low light for photos. The other ones ended up turning out pretty grainy and I wasn't very happy with them. The idea is cool. I thought like the concept of the triangle, like lining up with the, with the highway, I thought that was really cool. It was grainy and probably unusable, so. But as for the ND photo, I'm actually pretty happy with it, especially considering how rushed that whole shoot was and especially because it was just a first time. With photography, I feel like most of the fun is just going out of your comfort zone and exploring. A lot of people just like kind of stick to one sort of thing with photography or videography and everything like that. So if you're sitting there thinking like, I don't know what to shoot, like I don't have any friends to go out and like take portraits of, everyone's too busy, the landscapes around here are boring. Again, it's all about how you shoot it and then getting inspiration from other people on Instagram, on Facebook, on the internet, anywhere, magazines. You don't have to stick to one thing. That's like one of the biggest things in photography for me. All right, question of the day. Hey man, you are amazing. Thanks man. Have you ever planned to visit India? I haven't planned to visit India. I haven't really planned to visit many places in the world actually, but my mom is really keen on visiting India because she hears that the meditation and the yoga lifestyle and stuff over there is just massive. I've seen her like flicking through magazines and like looking on websites and stuff saying, oh, we should go to India because like they've got this and that for culture wise, like in terms of meditation and stuff. And she's really into that stuff. If mom ends up going there and I end up coming along, then I might end up going. But apart from that, like India would be a dope place to go to. I haven't really thought about it, but I'm sure I'll visit there someday either way. If you guys like this video, maybe consider liking it and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you guys again, and I'll catch you guys next time.